Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to another Layer by Layer. This week we're taking a look at a future project. This is a DIY 3D printed Bluetooth gamepad. And in this specific tutorial, we're going to take a look at making this D-pad. It's printed in NinjaFlex. So here I am in 123D. I've created my enclosure and I've already created the cutouts for the buttons, but we need to create the buttons now. So I just wanted to show you guys a cool technique on making shapes out of existing shapes, really. And it's using the feature called project. So in 123D, there's uh, a, a feature called project. It's under the sketch uh, little toolbar. And what you can do with it is you can use it to create uh, new shapes that aren't there. So in this case, I already have the, uh, the cutout for the D-pad, but I don't have the shape to make it yet. Now I could, I could uh, make it with uh, some of these primitives, but that might be a little tedious. So here's a cool way to do it. So I'll come here to sketch and I'll click on project. And when you start hovering over um, faces, you'll see that it highlights them. So what I'll do is I'll select this top one because it has the D-pad. Now that it's selected, it, you can see that you can uh, select individual um, lines or, or edges in this case. So what I'll do is I'll start selecting the edges that make up the D-pad. So it'll just take about a minute because I got to select all of them. And I'll do this very carefully because if I click on something else, <laughs> I'll mess it up. Luckily, 123 is cooperating and hopefully won't crash. OK, so I'm just about to click on the last edge. And when I do, it fills it in, making a sketch for me. So I'll go ahead and click on Exit Sketch. Now, the next thing we need to do before extruding the shape is we need to offset this so that the, the D-pad button can actually fit through uh, the cutout. So what we'll do is we'll come up here, the sketch. And right next to the project uh, feature, there's something called Offset. So I'll click on that. And it's similar to the, the same um, project where I have to click on the actual uh, sketch. So I'll click on the D-pad sketch, and then it tells me to select a curve. So I'll select the curve, which is the outline there. And now watch what happens when I start moving my mouse. You can see that uh, the little red uh, outline indicates on how much I am offsetting. So I want to offset from the inside, and I'll, put, I'll punch in uh, 0.5 millimeters. And I'll just hit Enter, and that will create my offsetted sketch. So now I have two of them. So what I'll do is I'll just select that offsetted sketch, highlight it, and then I can roll over and do an extrude. And I'll extrude it by 4 millimeters. And I'll make sure that's selected as new solid. And I'll hit Enter. So now we have our shape. Now, next thing I'll do is I'll hide the sketches so I can work with it a little bit more. And I can go to the top view and just see how it, uh, how it made this. So it's a perfect offset. All the uh, radiuses are, are nicely adjusted, and it's just really nice. So the next thing we need to do is we need to make like a guard um, for, the, uh, for the actual D-pad so it doesn't fall out. And what I'll do is I'll come up here to Primitives and select Cylinder. And I'll just roll over to the top to snap it in the center. And then I'll change the height to 1 millimeter, and then I'll uh, change the radius to 14. That way it covers the whole thing. I'll hit Enter. Now I'll move the D-pad up a bit so that it sits on top of this new little guard shape that I made. So that's about 5 mil. Hit Enter. And then I'll just go ahead and merge the two to make it one piece. All right, and that's looking like a D-pad. Now, the next thing we need to do is I'll just hide, uh, I'll just hide this shape here, the enclosure, so I can see these buttons. So these little things are uh, little shapes that represent the tactile switch buttons. These are the 6 millimeter kind. So what I'll do is I actually need to make little recessed holes here so that the D-pad can fit on top of it and sort of be in the place, right in the place. So what I'll do is I'll select the four buttons, and I'll copy and paste them, just like you do with words. And then I'll move it up so that it intersects just a little bit with that guard there. So that's about right, 6 mil. Hit Enter. And when that's in place, now I can just su subtract the D-pad from these buttons here so that I get those holes. So I'll hit Enter. And if you look underneath it, you can see those little, uh, those little holes are there now. So the, uh, one of the next things we need to do is we'll hit P on a keyboard and then select, uh, do that again, P on the keyboard and then select these edges here. And we need to bring them out. Since we're printing them, then, since we're printing this in uh, NinjaFlex, we're going to need to adjust the tolerances just a little bit. So I'll push it back by 
negative 0 0.2 uh, millimeters. Hit enter. And there we go. Now, the last thing I'll do, just to make it nice and pretty, is I'll hit E on my keyboard, and then I'll click on this top edge here. And then that'll let me apply a fillet so I can smooth it out. So I'll put one mil, hit enter, and there we go. There is our lovely looking D-pad. And then we'll do the same thing uh, for the other buttons. But that's a really cool way on how you can use Project Sketch and the offset feature to create uh, shapes when uh, you don't have shapes. So definitely a much better alternative than to uh, make it with a, a bunch of different shapes. So hope you guys like that one. If you guys uh, like me to take a look at any other features, let me know in the comments below. I'll be sure to take a look at that. And be sure to subscribe so you can check out when this project comes out in the next couple of weeks. It's really, really fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you like this one. And don't forget to check out our show every Thursday at 3 p.m. where we do a live 3D printing show. All right, guys, until, until then, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.